Somos herederos del sueño de Marcelino Champañá junto con los primeros hermanos. Es una herencia que hemos recibido y que hoy debemos seguir haciendo realidad, atendiendo especialmente a los que son menos atendidos por nuestra sociedad. ¿Hemos pensado acaso si no se hubiese dado la participación en conjunto hermanos y laicos en la misión marista, esta obra no, sería, no estaría desarrollada como lo tenemos hasta el día de hoy? El capítulo general vigésimo primero señaló la importancia del diálogo de la participación hermanos y laicos. Esto debemos hacerlo realidad ya que es parte del nuevo comienzo de la vida marista. For a fresh start, we need to consolidate management processes based on dialogue and active participation of brothers and lay people. And the project sustainability of the mission in Africa and Asia is one of the actions which already provide the prophetic dialogue in these regions. Several brothers were called to develop a plan of action for the sustainability of the mission in regards to pastoral and economic dimensions in Africa and Asia. The understanding and analysis of desires, threats and opportunities of the forces and strongholds in the provinces of these regions are fundamental and directly related to the continuity of our mission. In 2011, the General Council, based on a 21st General Chapter, has designated a team of experts to draw up a plan for the economic vitality of the pastoral and administrative units of Africa and Asia. Three pillars have been identified as critical to the sustainability plan, not only in these regions, but in any place where the Institute is present. Strategic mission planning based on local realities and in the generation of resources from it, with sustainability over time. Practices for effective and transparent management, focusing on mission and governance model. Based on that, in 2012, this council stipulated that the effort should be guided by a new team of brothers and laypeople. This committee began its activities in Nairobi, Kenya, in 2014. In its Endeavor Agenda, to launch the project with its objectives and methodology, communicate the Commission participants about the project, and motivate the African and Asian brothers to participate in planning and also in the project implementation into their provinces, hear their perceptions on the completion of the project and join the committee appointed at a meeting in Rome. Roma fue la sede del encuentro donde se reflexionó y se elaboró el proyecto de sustentabilidad de la misión marista en Asia y en África. Las características que queremos utilizar, el diálogo y la participación conjunta. Igualmente, como resultado, pretendemos tener transparencia y el diálogo conjunto. In 2015, in Madagascar, there was a meeting aiming to motivate and organize the workshops in Africa and Asia that will take place in February and March 2016. The project sustainability of the mission in Africa and Asia will have the effective actuation of three groups made up of brothers and laypeople. 1. The committee of the project, which will develop, structure and monitor its status. 2. The global team, which will train and assist local teams in the provinces. 3. The local team, which will implement the project in the respective provinces, as global team guidelines. The phases, first of all, you need to understand what the project is all about. What kind of project do you want to embark on? That will be the first stage. Naming the project. What is it all about? Understanding what it is, that is the first stage, phase for me. Then the second stage is, what do you want to achieve? 
having known what the project is all about, what do you want to achieve with the project? That will lead you to forming the goal, the objective you want to achieve from this kind of project. Now you have known the goal or the objective, set your objectives, then you think of the manpower, the resources. Do you have the, the finances to, to finance this project? You think of it, if the finances is not there, then you work out modalities on how to finance the project. Then having done that, you think of whether you have the manpower to carry on with the project. The project goals are Transparency of management Integration of brothers and laity Management and spirituality Focus on long-term Effectiveness of mission the main benefits of the project sustainability of the mission Africa and Asia are the training for local teams management, promoting the evangelical use of material goods and strengthening the autonomy and local finance responsibility. Next Actions 2015 an invitation to all provinces for the pilot project and the selection of only three for implementation. 2016. Training of local teams of the provinces. Implementation of the project. Te invito a incorporarte a este proyecto. Tu participación es más que importante, es fundamental. Y con tu apoyo tenemos la certeza de que cada vez más podremos atender la misión marista, dar a conocer a Jesucristo y hacerlo amar por todo el mundo, para los niños y jóvenes, especialmente los montañes de hoy. Pido la intercesión de Marcelino y de nuestra buena madre para el éxito de este proyecto.